The American Cancer Society's chief medical officer set off quite a controversy today by telling the New York Times the advantages of screening for two common cancers are exaggerated. He was referring to PSA tests for prostate cancer and mammograms for breast cancer. Now that contradicts advice the Cancer Society has been giving for years, that cancer screenings find cancers early and save lives. So what's the truth? We start our closer look with Sharon Alfonsi. For years, it's been a mantra in the medical community. Early detection saves lives by finding cancer before it spreads. But now, the chief medical officer at the American Cancer Society says that mantra may be misguided. Cancer is a very complicated disease. And to stupefy it by giving very simple messages actually does a disservice. Dr. Otis Brawley says we overscreen for prostate and breast cancers and as a result may overtreat cancers that may not even be deadly. Others agree. When we screen the healthy population, we end up finding cancers that do not need to be treated. We end up finding false positives that get treated. And while criticism of cancer screening isn't new, the source is. The American Cancer Society has long been a staunch defender of screenings, which is why these comments set off a firestorm. Dr. Brawley and the ACS are seriously overreacting by throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Others say the comments will create confusion among patients and physicians, and that it would be a disastrous public health message to let people believe cancer screenings are useless. The American Cancer Society said today they're not changing their screening recommendations, but Brawley stands by his comment to the Times that the advantages to screening have been exaggerated. Is that true? Well, when you see a reduction in death rate everywhere in the world where screening is instituted, I, I don't know how you can say that that's over-exaggerated. All of it leaving patients wondering whether they should get screened or not. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York. And so we're joined now by our chief medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson. And Tim, I'm left with this confused. We just heard the head of the Breast Cancer Coalition say these kinds of screenings spot cancers that don't need to be treated, but so too do they, do they spot cancers that do need to be treated, don't they? The, both statements are true, Charlie, and that's part of the confusion. This is not a black and white issue, it's a gray issue. Let me make very clear that many screening methods absolutely are proven to save lives. Pap smears for cervical cancer, colonoscopy for colon cancer, visual inspection for skin cancers. They are beyond a doubt helpful, but the two that we've been focusing on, mammograms for breast cancer and PSA testing for prostate cancer, have been the subject of a simmering debate for years behind closed doors in medical journals and medical meetings. Now that debate is out in the open because of what happened today. But, but it seems to me what you're talking about is what's uncertain is what you do after the screenings. Not, not a question of whether you should have the screenings themselves, but then what kind of treatment should come after you spot early cancers. That's a very important point. These tests do what they're supposed to do in most cases. They find the cancers. The problem is we don't know which ones to treat, which ones are going to be lethal, and so we overtreat. So we desperately need tests that will help us identify the truly important cancers. Then the screening tests will make a lot of sense. But do you still recommend screenings, mammograms, and PSA mm -hmm. tests? I certainly do for high-risk people, those with a family history of breast cancer and or prostate cancer. And I would say talk to your physicians, understand the pros and cons. You're not going to make a bad decision either way if you understand what you're doing. All right, Dr. Tim Johnson, thanks very much.